so. Back into the middle eights. This is Israel Madrimov of Uzbekistan, who in his previous outing gave Aziz Abshalov of Turkmenistan, who was a good fighter. Well, he gave him a beating. The referee stops it with about a minute to go in the final round the corner. We're never going to stop it. Turkmenistan against Uzbekistan. You can't go pulling your man out in that kind of contest. Madrimov, though, a gold medalist to the Asian Championships in 2017. Fifth in the American Championships, US national champion beat Say Duodon with a walkover rather right? against Say Duodon of Cameroon in the opening round, beat Hossam Appin in the second preliminary round from Alexandria, Virginia from the same gym as Shakur Stevenson, Alexandria BC. Stevenson, of course, uh, Silver medalist at the Rio 2000 Olympics, the USA's best Olympian since Andre Ward back in 2004. Majimov looked like a, a piece of work, to be honest with you, in the previous round, that performance against Achilov. Young fighter, nicely, as is Majimov actually. Broval, the referee. to be careful, dropped his gloves and the long right hand came in. Doesn't want to be dropping those hands, Isley. If he gets involved in a firefight here, I think he's going to come off second best. himself ate a big left hook there from Isley as he was on his way in he'd overbalanced and the American tagged him clean left to the body there from Isley finishing on the left to the body again there the American left hand there from Madrimov but Isley took it well this is a cracking fight so far already I said earlier that I thought if Isley decided to have a firefight with Madrimov, it might not end well for him, but he is exchanging with him here, he's trading. What he cannot do is get caught on the ropes as he was there and just allow Madrimov to unload those big, heavy hands. It's got to keep him moving, keep him turning. Finishes on that left of the body again. It's a scoring punch. Madrimov isn't bothered by it, but it is a scoring punch. What he can't do against Madrimov is go back in straight lines because he will just pursue you and try and get you on the end of that big right hand. Lateral moving is absolutely key. Shoulder 
Williams who throws that big right hand over the top there, Majumov didn't land it, good opening round, really good opening round, Majumov had some good success early on, landed some heavy looking shots but nicely came back and caught him with some good clean punches too. It's an interesting point now from Billy Walsh. She's basically saying that he doesn't feel that Majimov can live with a high pace and he's got to keep the pace high. And, and I would make him right. I would make him right. If you keep him moving, keep him turning. That's what you have to do against a fighter like Madrimov. He's a big, heavy kind of a fighter. They're both the same weight, so I know that to an extent doesn't really make any sense, but his movements are heavy. His hands are heavy too low, and that's the danger. Nice left hand there as he's moving away to his left eye. Oh, Madrimov will keep coming forward. He has an enormous amount of respect for Isley's power. But this is where he doesn't want to be. And he managed to turn his man and get off the ropes. That's the body from Isley. Munching off. Just pushing him off, trying to re-establish that distance. Both tops keep their heads up. There's not been too much danger so far of them cracking together. Not by the look of it, Mantra just backing up slightly to give himself enough room for that right hand. And he inches in behind the left. Whatever he's caught Isley with so far, though, the American has taken. No bother. and then he just fell in and grabbed Todd when he didn't really need to. Maybe that's an indication that the gas tank isn't quite what it might be that the American corner, the Irishman in the American corner was right because there's no need for him to, to fall in there. He could have just taken a step back and gone again. Oh, that was a fairly storm warning about the head. I really hope we don't see a point go. Right hand there from Antrimov, just wading in, pushing his man back. Isley with a left to the body, but then shipped a big right hand. And this is the danger, is that Isley can do a lot of good work, but Antrimov can take it away, really, with one big shot. Four, five punches from Isley. Really is the equivalent of one big one from Antrimov, and he was lining up a big one there with the overhand right. second round and it's an interesting contest both having their success Imagine Bob, as we know when he lands it's heavier than when Isley lands and it's really in a lot of ways as to what the judges really prefer how effective they feel each fighter's aggression is they're both looking to make the fight that right hand it wasn't as heavy as it first looked because he was just taking the weight back there Isley telling him to wake up in the corner there 
seconds well good fight entertaining fight between Madrimov and Isley Madrimov has put absolutely everything into that and I would say he's got it that final round he came on strong Isley started well recovered from uh, a bit of a rocky start and had a good opening round. But it was a close fight again. Well, Isley gets it. In the blue corner, Philippines have gone 30 points to 27. Philippines and Cuba have gone 30 points to 27 in favour of Madrimov. Morocco, Bulgaria, Wales have gone two rounds to one in favour of Isley. To say it was a close fight, I felt that Madrimov, when he landed, was landing the heavier shots. 